So, I'm Ewan, this is Jeremy, Hello. my glamorous assistant. <laughs> now, at the start of this afternoon, we heard from the future generations in the form of Septima. Now, what we're going to show you is what the UK public in 2011 think of future generations. And actually, we're quite excited about this. It's the first time we've shown it to anyone, so hopefully you will share our excitement. We'll see. So, first of all, the boring stuff, what we did. We asked 989, being perfectly honest with you. We aimed for 1,000, we got 989. <laughs> Adults, nationally representative sample. It was conducted between the 1st and 4th of November on an omnibus survey that goes out to everyone. Face to face, so imagine you were getting out of a tube or you're in a shopping centre. Someone comes up to you and says, we'd like to talk to you about all sorts of stuff. Could be what brand of shampoo or toothpaste you use. It could be future generations. Ipsos Mori did the field work and we've weighted it, but basically the answers are pretty solid. There's a thousand people. And we're going to play some games with you because we think it's that time in the afternoon where we need to get a little <laughs> bit energetic. So let's have the next slide. We're not going to tell you the answers. So first question we asked, we're going to show you three questions. When we're thinking about sharing out the Earth's resources, using them, whose needs should take priority? And we gave them four options. So number one, my family, my children, my grandchildren, etc. Number two, everyone living in this country. Number three, everyone on the Earth. And number four, should it be, let's, why restrict this to people? Is it all plants and animal species on the Earth? Now, we're not going to tell you what they think. What do you think our average UK audience? What was, good, what was most popular? Number one. Okay, number one. So how many people think number one, my family? Hands up. Okay, a third. We'll go for a third on that. Number two, people, people living in my country. Who, who thinks that was most popular? That's not many, is it? Yeah, okay. Five percent. This isn't going to round up to a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> and it won't be Jeremy's Maybe edition. Like <laughs> okay, number three. What about everyone living on Earth? Who thinks that? Well, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Fifty percent. Yeah. Forty-five percent. Number f okay, number four, while we're adjusting our set. Who thinks it was all plants and animal species? That's not many either. I'm going to get, say, 5%. We haven't got 100, have we? You get very close, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you were at 98%. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. All right, we'll show you the answers. How close were you? Is that surprising? We were surprised. We, lo we like this research. <laughs> So, we'll go to the placeholder side. Sorry, just uh, the really encouraging one, I think, is um, that difference, really. Well, one of the encouraging ones. I like, <laughs> I like 49 and 22, actually. Like, uh, why we're doing this is we're investigating how people talk about future generations. And people use it in different ways, so that's why we're interested in it. Now, we want some volunteers. Who wants to volunteer and play a, a very short game with us? Go on, don't all rush at once. Go, there's one there. <laughs> we'll have a. So I'd like I'd like four people, and I'm going to pick people if we don't get four people. Yeah, the one there, one there, hand up. One more, over there. And we have got two teams. You're on my team. Okay, good. And you're on you're on you're on my team. Now, have you, we'll wait for our fourth person. Have you guys played Family Fortunes? <laughs> Let's show them the question. So we asked a thousand UK adults, what's the most important thing to hand down to future generations? No, you're my team. Do you want to play or pass? Do you want them to answer or do you want, you to, do you want to answer it? OK, no, you can answer. So, oh, you've got your F7. 
We've, we've been practising this, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um, what, would, what do you think most people said about we should hand down to future generations? What should we hand down to future generations? Yeah. What's uh, important to hand down to future generations when we're thinking about UK policy, etc.? Financial security. I think, um, they've, I think they've got one. Yeah. I think it's number f four. Is that right? From memory? Yeah. Oh, you've, you need to F7 again. Oh, well, that's fine. This, this works. It keeps it nice and simple. Yep, so a thriving economy was only number four on the list. That was really what, um, what else? A, a healthy planet. Like a oh, very good. I think they've got another one. Healthy planet. Healthy planet. Healthy planet. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. It's, 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 sort of, it's sort of working. We haven't, obviously, haven't practiced this too much. <laughs> it's number one. Nice. Which we like. <laughs> We're some very surprised, given where the debates are, but 46% of the people said a healthy planet. What um, else? Peace. Yeah. Something about conflict, like lack of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd, gi I'd give them that. Is that number three? Or? Yeah. We might have winners here, like you guys might end up with nothing to do. <laughs> what else? Um, home? Security? That's no, we've security. done that yeah, actually. We, that. we did that to get in safety and security was number three. Okay, does that cover like homes and like places to live and not being homeless and that sort of thing? Well, okay, so Financial places to live. That's what they do. <laughs> no. So it's our, it's our turn now. Oh. <laughs> Which one do we think that is? Technology. Okay, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh, no, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> what, what else? See if we can get the other two. Like culture, traditions? No, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll show them the other two now. So rather than... Could take a while. See, we did, we've got the top four. We've done pretty well. And we're actually lying a little bit because these are the options we gave them, but... We are very, very happy with the answers to this. Thank you. So, <laughs> round of applause for our guests. Um, so, one more question. One more question for you. We asked people what they, th how well they thought the UK government looked after future generations in the decisions they make today. It did include the word today. How many people think people said we uh, take, pay too much attention to future generations? No, we haven't got anyone there. How many people thought they pay, we pay too little attention to future generations? Yeah, you've worked out what, you've worked out what the UK public's like. <laughs> 80%? Yeah, 80%. Bang on, I'd say. And how many said about right as well? Anybody else thought it was about right? <laughs> Point 0.5 of 1%. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, so those are the answers. It basically adds up to 67% saying too little. And what I learned from this, or what we learned from this, which is actually consistent with lots of stuff. But when you frame things in terms of future generations, to me it seems people take a more responsible, longer-term perspective. It's also consistent with basically every research project I've been involved in globally, people are always more responsible than their government and business leaders. What what I think happens is people feel constrained by their leaders to basically be sensible. And it's almost up to you guys as 
the young audience to not be constrained and, and show people what's possible. That's kind of what I think about it anyway. So, Thank you very much. show them on.